Hi, Kevin from Snowy's Outdoors here. Today I'm going to show you how to fit the protective cover to the CFX3 25, 35 and 45 fridge freezer. Hit it. Now this fridge has got a 1200 denier cover. It protects the fridge against dirt, dust and moisture and it has an integrated zippered pockets on each end. Now when you open that out of the box, this is what you get, it's all zipped together. Now this is a particular model for a CFX35. You can also get it for a 25 and a 45 as well. So we'll open this up and we'll have a look. Now it's made from a 1200 denier nylon. You can see there's a hard piece for each end, each side. You've got the bottom in here as well and the sides. Now this has got about a centimetre of insulation in it. And we've also got the lid. Now it's also got these stainless steel clips which you use for clicking onto the lid. And of course that's the other side as well. So now I'll show you how to put it all on the fridge. We'll move that aside for a moment. Now one of the first things you've got to do is actually put your fridge on its side. So I tilt that over, just gently. Now, you can see that you've got two sections here. This one has a little cutout. That has to go on the side of the fridge that has your control panel. This one has to go on the side of the fridge that has your vents for the compressor. So lay that down on the ground. You've also got some four little legs they actually slip into those slots there, into these holes here, you can see them. So then you tip the fridge back over on, and you make sure that that's in the right position. Now you don't put the uh, handles on just yet, they can actually go on a bit later, you can just leave it there for the loose, but you can see it's not held in position there. On the sides, you can see you've got a cutout, that's for the vent for the compressor, so make sure you get it on the right end. You can see we've got a vent down here, I'll just set that on the side, and on this side you've got a zipper. Just attach that into there. And the zipper goes all the way down and around. You might have to just tilt the fridge over a little bit, just to get the zipper to go underneath and back up the other side. Sit the fridge upright again, and the same thing for the other side. So once again, you've got the cutout, so that can only go on one way. Zipper back in there. And once again, just make sure that it's on the right position. It's not too tight. Tilt the fridge on its side and continue to the zipper all the way around. Can be a little bit tight this last bit. It is a new cover, of course. As you use it, you'll find that it will loosen up a little bit. Okay, then we stand it back upright again. So that zips all the way up. Now here is where you can put your handles on. Make sure that's Velcro nice and tight. And we do the other end as well. So you just pull the handle out and make sure you've got that Velcro on the handle on nice and tight there. Now we're going to put the cover on the lid. Open the lid up. Now with this model, you actually have to remove the seal. You do that on the 35 and 45 litre. The 25 litre, you don't need to do this. But you actually take the seal off the lid. You can see it comes off very easily all the way around, and just put that to one side. Now we grab the lid, and once again, there is a cutout. That's for the handle on the top of the fridge. So we'll set that on there. You can see we've got the little stainless steel clips. We'll hook onto the underside of the lid where the seal goes. They've got a little elastic band there, so they pull themselves nice and tight. We do that with all of the clips. Then we can put the seal back in again. Doesn't matter which way you go. And the seal just pushes back into the groove like that. All the way around. Make sure you get it all the way in the groove and that's it on. Now, as you can see, when I shut it down, you've got access to the handle, you've got access to the control panel and to your handles for carrying. So that's all I've got to tell you about fitting the cover on the CFX3 25, 35 and 45 fridge freezer. These are ideal for protecting against dirt, dust and moisture. They're made from a good quality material and a lot of the models will have a storage pocket on the end where you can possibly put your cables so that you don't lose them when they're not in use. Now if you want to find out anything more about this or any other products, go to our website snowies.com.au where we have the lowest prices every day. If you want to subscribe to Snowies, click over here. If you want to watch any more videos, click over here. If you want to ask a question, leave a comment down below.